This is Tariq Akram, who helped to organise the slowdown from Scunthorpe to Doncaster along the M180. So tell us why you did this, Tariq. Good morning, Jeremy. Um, basically, the, the main reason why we did this is obviously because of the fuel prices, just how much it's increased over the past six months alone to a, a haulage company in Lincolnshire. I don't know if you could see my map on the TV, Tarek. You could tell us exactly which road yep. you... Yeah, OK, let me just... I'll head over here. You tell us which road. So you're a Scunthorpe area, were you? So basically over here on the yep. East Coast. So we, we actually did the rolling roadblock on the M180. I see. So affecting Doncaster, as described. Yes, as affecting Doncaster. Ours was a rolling roadblock, not a full blockage. And where, so when you were... Was it north, south, east or west? Was it coming from the coast or what? Yes, yeah, so what we did was we headed towards uh, Immingham Grimsby area and then obviously we headed to Doncaster along the main artery out of Immingham Docks, uh, rolling at 20 mile per hour. I've got it. So, yeah, well, I, I suppose at 20 people are still able to get where they're going, but they just become conscious of what, what you're doing. Correct. I mean, we, we did leave one lane open on the motorway anyway for people that didn't want to join in the protest. Um, but actually, in fact, I think Boris just needs to be a little bit worried that people we didn't expect to, just the general public, were actually involved as well. Do the I mean, police... They'd, they'd, they'd stay for a good mile, uh, a mile and a half there, and then obviously then they'd go ahead and carry on with their day. When you got near Doncaster, were the police taking an interest in you? Police were taking an interest. Um, again, we worked with them. They stopped. Um, not 100% sure why they were taking videos, obviously. But yes, they stopped, closed off junctions. They also helped on... On slip roads, that help the, the the vehicles joining the motorway also join on the motorway as well. I'm not. I'm not even sure. Good. I'm not sure they broke the law. These guys. I mean, as, as as a cyclist in London, I'm basically operating a rolling roadblock the whole time, as far as I can tell. So, you know, as long as you don't stop, you didn't stop, Tarek, as you said, did you? You just kept going. No. No. The, the, what we did was it was was a rolling roadblock. Police joined us at half past five in our yard. And the more to the point is we didn't stop. We stuck to our 20 mile per hour speed limit. We put our, our restrictors on and that's just as far as we've gone. At, one, at no point along that road, even when we come back on ourselves, was anything stopped. It was all rolling. Christo, what is the difference between this and Insulate Britain? Uh, well, the difference between this and Insulate Britain, and I have to say that that was a very compelling argument. Well, yes. Across there. The fact that he kept a lane open yeah. and that you could either join it or still get to work. Because yep. my, my worry is that people who are suffering from the cost of living crisis then end up being penalised as a result of this. The difference with Insulate Britain is that they stuck themselves to the road. They could not be moved. It meant that no traffic could get through, whereas this meant that you could join it if you wanted to. So you know, I have to say, I don't, don't change my mind very often on these things. You are... Making me well, more I, I, well, I mean, I guess, Tarek, at some point we might hear from somebody who says they couldn't get to a hospital appointment and they died. And that's the classic thing, isn't but, it? But, but listen, correct, no, correct. I'm sorry. sorry. Tarek, let Tarek yeah. answer, go on. Sorry. Yeah, correct. I mean, we're, we're always going to, to hit, be hit with people that um, hate us, but also the, the respect, I'm sorry, no, not necessarily the respect, the response we've got was more positive, mm. if I'm honest. The respect all over social media, people emailing in, people contacting us, saying, you know what, well done, thank you for doing it. I couldn't be a part of it, but thank you for, yeah. for standing up for it. Well, well yeah. I think protest, exactly. So your protest, and I really do admire you, well done, especially as you're doing it at a time when Priti Patel has just passed some of the most horrendous yep. laws against peaceful protest. I mean, that's we're in a different place the, 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 from where we were three months ago. I thought you ago. said the, the opioids were going to stop you being... I haven't had them this morning. <laughs> 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 I only had ibuprofen All right. Listen, what, Let's just take a little break. Tarek, thank you so much. You, did, <laughs> you managed to swing Christo no there, problem. which is not easily done.